In this video, we're going to have a look at how to draw custom vectors. To do this, we're going to look at the pen tool and some of the other tools around it that allow us to manipulate the vectors we're creating. In computer graphics software, pretty much every package in computer graphics has a pen tool or a variant of it. Knowing it is an absolute essential if you want to be in this industry. So hopefully this video will get you started on it and get you on the road to becoming a master with it. So let's go ahead and grab our pen tool from our tools palette. Alternatively, you could hit P on your keyboard. With our pen tool selected, the way it works is it allows us to lay down anchor points by clicking. So let's lay down one anchor point, move over, lay down another by clicking, and between our two anchor points, the computer will draw a line. That is our vector. As we click in more points, we get a longer line. And if we want a closed off shape instead of just a line, we can click back on our start point. You'll notice as I hover over that start point, my pen tool changes and I get a little circle appear underneath it. That's telling me that when I click back on my start point, it's going to close off the shape and now I've got a closed form. While you're on the pen tool in Illustrator, once you close off a shape, the pen tool actually reactivates and you can just go ahead and start drawing another shape. As you lay down points with the pen tool, do know you can use your arrow keys to nudge those points around. So if they're slightly off, you can nudge those points around. Also, if you hold down shift, you can draw lines at 45 degree increments. As you can see. Now, you're probably thinking these shapes are rather blocky looking. How do I make curves? That's a good question. To make a curve, instead of just clicking, if you click and hold and move your mouse, you will drag out from anchor points these handles. These handles allow us to make curved lines. So let's go ahead and click out a few points just to see what's going on here. Now you'll notice that the line curves based on where the endpoints of these handles are sitting. What they're doing is they're acting like magnets to attract the line between two anchor points towards it. So we can see we've got our two anchor points here and these kind of two magnets affecting that line. The first one is pulling the line towards it up and the second one is pulling the line down towards it. The line has to go through the anchor points so it creates this nice kind of curvy shape here. And that's how we create curves. When creating curves, you want to lay down as few points as possible to get a nice even curve. The more points you lay down in an attempt to draw an accurate curve, the more likely you are to get a wobbly line or these kind of little kinks in the line. So less points is actually better. Learning to control a line with as few points as possible is a skill you're going to have to master. If you want to create a curve going into a hard change, for example, say I want a nice big round shape here, and the next point I want the line to come in at a right angle here and come straight up, you'll notice I can't do that because of the handle that's being dragged off. When you drag off a handle on an anchor point, it mirrors on both sides the change. The way to get around that is to hold Alt on your keyboard while you're on the pen tool, and that brings up the Convert Anchor Point tool. It allows you to grab and manipulate handles independently, so we can manipulate each half of a handle independently of the other half. Or if we want to get rid of half a handle, we can actually Alt click on the line, or sorry, on the anchor point, and that will remove the handles altogether, which is a handy tool. 
When you release hold, it takes you back to your pen tool and you can keep on drawing. Another handy thing to know about that tool is if you're using it and you have an open end that you're manipulating of a line, if you hold down Alt and click on it, it only actually kills half the handle, not the whole handle, which is a good way to make a sharp change. That's it for this video. In the next video, we're going to have a look at tracing something.